Let's do some more caves of cud. Uh, let's see, we're going to be a mutated human as per usual, and I'm not going to do these stats quite yet. Yep, we're going to go over here, and we're going to set up some random mutations. I want to show off every single physical defect, uh, but you can't use uh, the randomifier. Uh, I think it's F1, F1, F1. Yes, it is F1. You can't use that to get physical defects. So, of course... I'm going to need, or other defects, I'm going to need to uh, do those manually. So we've already shown off albino and amphibious. Let's try analgesia, I think is how you pronounce it. I had to actually look that up. Uh, and now we can get random mutations and see what we get. This will help me decide what stats to set up for ourself. Uh, we got double muscled. It's an interesting choice. We are very strong, but we're also very slow. And we can daze our opponents. I've never used this one before. Let's see what happens. Multiple arms. Looks like we're going to be a very strong fighter type guy. 8% chance for each arm to deliver an extra blow. We're going to be a strength specialist, apparently. And we also have poison venom. I've never used this before. This is going to be an interesting run. I've used multiple arms before. So we bear a tail. Let's see what it does. 20% chance of melee attack to strike your opponent. So we have even more melee uh, specialization. I think I would have preferred paralyzation ve venom over poisoning venom. But I suppose this is the most damaging anyways. So we're going to be like a damage dealer, sort of. Um, a sting to guarantee a strike with your stringer. At blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's see what our mental defense... I don't even think we have any. We don't have enough for that. Kindle. Kindle is a, such a useless ability. And telepathy. That's also a pretty useless ability. In fact, I prefer, if I had the choice, to turn those off and turn off analgesia, which is a very bad effect, even though it only gives us uh, two more points to put into things. Uh, telepathy and, and uh, Kindle are completely useless. So let's go backwards. It'll save so long as we don't click the escape button again. And we're, we're specializing as a strength character, apparently. Uh, we're also going to want some willpower to increase how many times we can use that uh, stinger. And intelligence to get various combat abilities like um, the multiple-handed uh, ambidexterity and stuff. Uh, we'll also be using guns, so, uh, probably, so we're going to want agility and toughness. So ego is the one thing that we don't really care about at all. Uh, willpower is probably the least important still. Uh, I'll go up, bring that up to that. I'll just bring everything up a bit. Uh, we need a high toughness because we are going to be in a lot of melee combat, so I'm going to bring that up quite a bit, even though it'll cost a few points. Uh, ego, again, I don't care about. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I don't think that we need Kindle. I mean, uh, Ego. Um, let's see. Intelligence, we want that higher. Uh, we can bring our willpower up a bit, but we don't really need it that high. It also helps us uh, regain HP, so it's like a second toughness. It doesn't give us more HP to start with. Um, we don't want higher agility and higher strength. Strength is also going to have that double muscle to bring it up even further, so I'm not so worried about that. I'll do that. Do we, want, do we even want to put anything in the ego? I suppose we might end up with an, an ego ability. No, it's not going to be worth it. We're not going to put anything in the ego. We're going to put that into willpower. Uh, not having any ego will also mean that we can't get certain uh, abilities, certain skills that we have to use skill points to learn. But none of those are very useful, it turns out. It's not for me. So let's see what we're going to pick. Um, okay, I think I've decided. I was actually between the Marauder and the Warden with a little bit wanting that Water Vine Farmer. But I decided on the Warden because uh, not only do I get good attack stuff and good defense stuff and strength, which I think the Marauder also gives me, and more block. I also get uh, something for bows and more importantly rifles. So when I get to uh, Grickgate and finish that one quest, I should be able to uh, use that carbine immediately to pretty good effect. So I'm going to stick with the warden. We also might run into some uh, bows and rifles. In fact, I might actually use bows for the first time. I never really use bows. So let's see. We're going to be using that warden. Uh, another use for this is that I can have multiple weapons. That's why I'm so interested in weapons in the first uh, guns in the first place. I can have like four guns probably or two uh, double-handed guns. I don't know. I've I've not used uh, multiple arms. I already have multiple arms. Two is multiple. Whatever. Our name is going to be. Hmm. How about this? Charlie Sheen, the muscular, poisonous gunslinger 
with a long sword, and uh, what else? What else do we have? Uh, telepathy, of course. Everyone knows Charlie Sheen has telepathy. Okay, so let's actually talk to this guy. Let's use. Wait, can we can't use telepathy? There you go. Let's use telepathy without having to walk to this guy. That'll find some use. So now, in, when, within our first turn, we can get a quest instead of having to uh, spend three turns to walk over to him first. Not that it particularly matters. And hooray, we have a quest now, all of a sudden. Uh, let's go in here. Actually, I want to see what items we have. We have beef jerky, delicious. Uh, we have torches. We're going to need those torches because uh, Kindle is a terrible ability. Uh, and we got lots and lots of water. It's pretty good. I'm actually going... I'm considering... But yeah, I'm going to pour that into another container. Whoops. Pour into another container. See... Do not empty it first, put all of it in, and there, now we can actually drop some of these things. I don't know if canteens are better than water skins, water skins are better than canteens, whatever. Let's open this while nobody looking, uh, nobody is looking, and grab all this nice stuff. Uh, my tab key is apparently not working, that is not good. Uh, I'll have to do that manually then. So there we go, we got that, we actually got a gun now, a little musket, but I get the feeling that muskets are incredibly useless. Even if, uh... They count in our rifle and bow thing. Let's take another musket. Yeah, we can dual wield muskets. Hooray! The game wants us to be a gunslinging uh, muscle maniac. Hooray! Get this. Uh, good. We can uh, examine this. We don't want. I don't want that to be automatically on apply. <clears throat> oh, rubber gum injector. I can be like Luffy. That's good. I actually want to look at that. Uh, it lasts for a pretty long time. A hundred electrical resistance. I don't really run into very many electrical guys, though. I guess it's good against way droids. Uh, this is some cold resistance. But we also lose some protection, and uh, we don't get so much uh, protection from bleeding. But hey, we only suffer half as much stuff from bludgeoning and falling. Falling only happens once in the game, to my knowledge, and it's already going to deal 400 HP. So unless you have 200 HP, it's not worth using. And you also cannot grab. That's interesting. Oh, well. At least now we know that that's a useless item that we could sell. We also got another uh, melee weapon. Hello. Th whoops. That is not how I look. How do I look again? It is the L button. Hello, Z-Lot. You're going to die. You are going to be killed. I'm sorry, guy. I, I would possess you and lock you in a room, but that wouldn't work. Why do I why do I even bother doing that? Let's talk to this guy and see if he has anything nice to trade. Huh. Well, that's an interesting dagger that I'm not going to buy. It's incredibly expensive and a dagger. I think muskets uh, use lead slugs. Muskets aren't shotguns, so I don't know why they use shotgun shells. Of course, because we have incredibly low ego, this guy's charging us a fortune for everything. Oh well, does not particularly matter all too much. Plus, we also can't sell very much to him for very much. Our muskets only sell for three drams, three and a half. That's pretty pitiful. Oh well, that's what you get for not having the ego. Oh well, we're going to want to... Uh, do we want to drop things? Actually, I'm going to look at things for a second. Well, it turns out my theory was incorrect. Uh, you cannot uh, equip more guns simply because you have more arms. I'm sorry, Charlie Sheen, but you can't be an awesome gun-wielding ninja. Oh, well, you can be awesome in other ways. Oh, we're wasting a torch. Why are we wasting two, are we wasting two torches? Wow, that's a little odd. I don't know why the game starts us off with two torches or three torches that we're equipped with all at once. Um, yeah, we only have the one set of uh, missile weapon things. We don't have the second. That kind of is sad. Oh well, who needs logic and reasoning when we can just have three torches at once and uh, only one gun slot. Uh, I do want to have more weapons, but we'll just go with what we have now. And I'm actually going to... Uh, we don't have any ammo. Why would I try to do that? I'm going to talk to this guy. Hey, guy. Our guy. How would you like to be a rubber man? There you go. He's a rubber band now. Rubber man. By the way, we're in perfect HP. That's Analgesia, and that's uh, Angelica, a 
affecting us, not telling us what our HP is. So we're going to have to uh, try to figure that out ourselves. Perfect, I think that means we have full HP. And judging from the fact that we uh, have a toughness of 20, I think that's 20 out of 20. But in the future, that'll be changing and becoming more complicated. Oh well, um, we need to equip everything that we have, that we can equip. Equip auto. Equip. Equip that auto, equip that manual. Uh, we're going to have two right hands of weapons and no left hands. Our left hands are free. It's going to be fun. I don't know if it's actually an advantage. Maybe we're right handed. That's better to do twice right handed. I don't know. I'm just walking around for no particular reason in the water vine when I should be moving on. Oh, we don't have any um, witchwood bark. Forgot about that stuff. Uh, let's just uh, leave and come over here and quickly run into. Can't see anything. Let's uh, equip one of them. There are torches that we have uh, six of for some strange reason. Hello, goat. How are you? Pretty good. How are you, uh, Ch uh, Charlie Sheen? Pretty good. Thank you, Mr. Goat. I'm, I'm happy that someone wants to know how I am. Whoa. That was odd. Little, uh, I was surprised when the food thing changed. I thought we were t taking damage. Charlie Sheen doesn't take damage. Charlie Sheen deals it. Or something. Let's hope he doesn't die a premature death. Probably will, judging from the fact that I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, we have a few weapons, but let's actually equip this stuff to various things. I want that to be our that. Kindle we're never going to use. I may as well show you guys Kindle, just uh, so you guys know how useless it is. There you go, we killed him and poisoned him at the same time. And now we're going to eat. Now we're going to uh, eat him. Yes, and we got a sharp bronze thingamajig. So now we have yet another weapon. Let's equip many, many, many weapons. Oops. I'm annoyed by that. Uh, there we go. We, have ha we now have three weapons and that one torch. Hooray. Uh, I'm going to uh, now use Kindle. The most, whoa, the most worthless ability in the game. And uh, I'll just put it right in the middle of the room. There you go. That room is now going to stay lit up, sort of. Uh, we have, we'd have to recast it every single time in order to uh, be able to see everywhere. And of course, it has an incredibly uh, big cooldown. I don't even think, uh, know if it lasts forever. It might last forever. Uh, no, it does not last forever. It's a lit torch, and we cannot pick it up. Another annoying thing about that. Uh, let's kill this guy. And can we use our uh, stinger yet? Why, yes, we can, so let's use it. That's going to be our strongest attack, after all. And we are already dying, but that guy is going to die first, so it's all good. And hey, look at this, we got plenty of food now, and we can also equip some armor, sort of. No, we can't. Oh, there's a cap, yeah. Um, let's get some of this stuff. I don't know why I'm not equipping it immediately, why I'm instead uh, picking up like this, but oh well. It does not matter so much. Let's equip that as our new axe. And let's equip that uh, mace. Now we have three different kinds of weapons. We're better off with multiple swords, though. Uh, actually, I don't think that the uh, sword thing matters all that much in terms of using swords instead of other things. And why do I keep using that? Here is a Snapdraw Hunter, which is incredibly nice. I love you, Snapdraw Hunter, that I hate. Uh, whoa, don't run away, because I want you dead. Um, uh-oh. This is scary. But we win. Time to retreat and take a bit of a nap. That was nice. Charlie Sheen loves taking naps in dank dun dungeons. It's, it's nice. It's, it's relaxing. Let's equip that. I know it's terrible and very heavy, but it's, it has a little bit better stuff than our leather armor, and we really kind of need it. Once we run into studded, studded leather armor, we're going to be replacing our uh, worthless other armor with it. I say right before we pick that up, I actually do it. And hooray, let's get